I'm Rebecca from ingvid.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to tell time in English. Okay? So, for example, if someone tells you, I'll meet you at 10 to 10, what does that mean? What is 10 to 10? We're going to find out. Okay? Let's go. All right. So, here's the clock that I've drawn. Excuse my drawing. But what time does it say? Okay. So, let's examine the clock. So, this is called the hour hand. It shows the hour. And this is called the minute hand. Okay? The shorter hand is the hour hand, and the longer hand is the minute hand. All right. And right now, the hour hand is pointed to 2. And this is pointed to 12. So, that means it is 2 o'clock. All right? So, as we go around, it would be 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. Now, if you just say 12 o'clock, if uh, you don't know what it's like outside, is it dark? Is it 12 o'clock at night? Is it 12 o'clock in the afternoon? So, sometimes when it's 12, we just say 12 noon or midnight. Okay? If it's night, we say midnight. But we'll get to that. Now, there are many things you need to know in order to be able to say the time or express time correctly. All right? So, let's go through what they are. So, as I said, first of all, if it's a complete hour on the hour, then just say the hour, the number, plus o'clock. All right? That's the expression. Two o'clock, three o'clock, right? Now, then let's start going by five minute intervals around the clock and see what happens. So here we would say 205. Say it after me. 205. Good. The next one, 210. Okay, that would be here. 210. Then here, 215, 220, 25, 230, 235, 240. 40, 245, 250, 255. Okay? So, we're going by five minute intervals right now. And it could be something in between. It could be 212 or it could be 223. But usually people round off to those, uh, these numbers here. Okay? So, one way that you can tell the time, and I think it's the easiest, as long as you know these basic numbers up to 59, but certainly the numbers by 5, is just to say that. 205, what's the time? It's 215. It's 250. It's 240. Okay? 245 and so on. That's the easy way. And you can say that, but you might hear people using another expression or a few other expressions as well. So, let me explain those to you. So, as I said, this you can call 2.15 or quarter past 2. So, why are we saying that? Because in this method, what we're doing is we're dividing the clock into quarters. Okay? Like this and like this. So, when it's 2.15, it's a quarter past 2 or a quarter after 2, after 2 o'clock. But we don't have to say after 2 o'clock. We can just say at that point, it's a quarter past 2. It's a quarter after 2. Okay? Then, when it comes to 2.30, we could say it's 2.30, or we could say it's half, right? Half from the 12 to the 6. It's half past 2. That's how we express that. And at 2.45, we can also say it's a quarter to three. Quarter two. Now, anything after the six, you see this other arrow here? From here to the 12, we have to say something two. Quarter to 12. Uh, quarter to three. Okay? It would be quarter to three if it was 2.45. All right? Or... 25 minutes to 3. You could say that, but those you'll probably just hear people saying 235, 240, and so on. But on these quarter and half, people do use these other expressions. Okay? 
So again, quarter past two, half past two, quarter to three. Okay? Now, remember when I said 10 to 10? So that was 10 minutes to 10, 10 minutes to 10 o'clock. All right? 10 minutes before 10 o'clock. So when people say 10 to 10, 10 minutes to 10. It's not used very often, but sometimes people just use it in short. Okay? All right. Um, let's look at a couple of other things you might see when, when talking about the time. So when we're going uh, from 12 midnight to about 11.59 in the afternoon, that period of time is referred to as AM, anti-meridium, but don't worry about what it stands for. People just say AM and PM, anti-meridium and post-meridium. Don't worry about those. Just say AM if it's from midnight to the afternoon. And after 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 12 noon, to 11.59 at night, we call that time p.m. So if someone says, I'll meet you at 4 p.m., when is that? That's over here, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If someone says, I'll meet you at 10 a.m., that means over here, right? 10 o'clock in the morning, all right? I know it's a lot to take in. If you're a little bit unsure, you can study this for a while and then Let's do a little bit of a review. Okay, so are you ready to tell the time? Here we go. The first one. So what's the easy way we could say this? 6.50, okay? Remember to say 50, 50, short, not 15, okay? Because that would mean something else and somebody would get the wrong idea. 15 and 50. 6.50 or 10 to 7, good. 3.45 or quarter to 4. 5.20 or 20 past 5. 20 after 5. 7.50, again 50. Or, how would we say it? 10 to 8, good. 9.15. Okay, now it's longer, 9.15, or quarter past 9, quarter after 9. Over here, 8.05. Usually we don't say, but you could say 5 past 8. Now here, this is 10.10, 10, which means 10 minutes past 10 o'clock. But this one, we would say either 9.50 or 10 to 10, 10 to 10, okay? Good. This one, 5.30, right? Or, what's the other way to say that? Half past five. And 1.40 or 20 minutes to two o'clock, all right? So, I know there are some variations, but learn to say the one which is easier for you, but learn to also understand all of the other options, okay? And to really master this, please do the quiz at ingvid.com. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.